an extraordinary uh, night uh, with extraordinary results. Uh, an unprecedented attack on Israel met with an unprecedented uh, s sense of resolve and determination and military capability. That's going to, I think we're going to, we'll know a little bit more uh, in, in coming days. Uh, as the president has made clear, we, uh, everything he's been doing since October 7th has been to try to keep uh, this from becoming a wider regional war. And he pre-positioned forces, uh, even in the last few days, uh, destroyers and fighter squadrons uh, into the region to help Israel defend itself, to keep it from uh, becoming a wider war, be to keep it from escalating further. Uh, so we'll obviously be vigilant to any threat coming forward and, uh, and making sure that, uh, that we're meeting that need. As I looked at last night, what it tells me is that uh, we, we can make good on our commitment to defend Israel. It tells me that Israel does have superior military capability. Just think about the hardware that Iran threw into the sky uh, and how little damage that caused. I mean, that's a real testament to how strong the IDF is. It also tells me, and it should tell everybody else, that Israel's not alone. The president and the prime minister had a good discussion largely about the extraordinary success uh, of last night. Again, look, as I said earlier, the president's been very clear, publicly so. Uh, we don't seek a war with Iran. We don't seek an escalated uh, re uh, tensions in the region. We don't, we don't seek a wider conflict. And everything he's been doing literally since the 7th of October uh, has been designed to, to that outcome.